OK, we should be recording. All right, so my name's Dr. Mary Ann Preback. I'm here um, on behalf of the Leesburg Library. Um, thank you to the friends of the Leesburg Library. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Can you hear me? Okay, great. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we're going to get started with some cat cow. So just taking a comfortable seated position. Um, I'm going to move the camera down a little bit so you can see my feet. If you would like to use blocks, there's my dog too. Um, then <laughs> if you can, are welcome to put blocks or a book underneath your feet to give you better support if you need it. If not, I've, I've got a really low to the ground chair today with no back. So I'm going to probably not use my blocks, but I have them there. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and come into the present moment, if that's possible with this wiggling dog. <laughs> um, and we're gonna focus in on the breath here. Um, and we're gonna start to come into some movement doing some cat cow. So um, cow is the chest coming out and cat we're caving in. So we're kind of moving in a flow between those two. Always making sure we're going to be kind to the body. Coming to at most challenging discomfort, never pain here. Making all the movements work for you. Adapting any movements that you need to. You're the expert on your own body, so. Noticing the breath here, seeing if you could come into a one breath, one movement. Inhaling on cow, exhaling on cat. Taking an opportunity here to check in with the breath. Couple more cat cows here. All right, and now we're gonna start to move in a circle with the upper body. So hands can be on thighs or on the chair or really wherever. Coming to circle the upper body here. Feet solidly planted on the ground. We'll do two more this direction and then we'll switch. Noticing your breath here. If possible, deepening that breath. From here, we're gonna go the other direction as you're ready. And we'll do two more here this direction. And then as you're ready, coming to the neutral spine, maybe the chin kind of points down a little bit here. The crown of the head raises towards the ceiling. 
the back and the spine straighten here. Maybe we start to check in with the breath, taking a moment to check in with the body and come into the present moment. Noticing any sensations and coming into awareness of the body. From here, we're going to start to do some stuff with the feet. So let's go ahead and take whichever foot you want to start with and start to point and flex that foot. We're going to do both feet, so you could do either one to begin with. Pointing and flexing. If you feel yourself cramping up at all, just make sure you make any other movements that feel like the right choice for your body. And we'll do a few more here and then switch to the other foot. All right, and then switch. Maybe seeing how much you can exaggerate this. And it might feel different from one foot to the other. My first foot was cramping a little bit. Now this foot, it's not. So that's really normal. A few more here. All righty. Then bring that foot in to meet the other. And we're going to do um, heels up and kind of leaning forward into the toes. So heels up and do a little lean forward there into the toes and see like maybe making some movements with the heels here, just a slight like little circle with the heels coming into those toes. If you were circling the heels one way, go the other way, bringing some weight into the ball mound of the foot and getting some nice engagement of the toes here. All right. And then we'll go ahead and set those heels down. Um, from here, we're gonna um, start windshield wipering the knees. So just going from side to side, bringing some gentle opening there to the hips. This is a really good one for doing on your back. If you ever do yoga on your back, this is a nice one for bringing those legs, windshield wipering from side to side on the back. All right, and from here, we're gonna pick up, let's start with the right knee. So we're gonna pick up that knee and let's go ahead and circle the ankle here. So you can use um, both hands interlaced or one hand, whichever way you want. This is, um, Two hands might feel more secure. If you're rotating one direction, go ahead and reverse and go the other direction. And then we'll set that down gently. Pick up the other leg, left leg, and go ahead and rotate the ankle. And when you're ready, go ahead and take that rotation in the other direction. A few more here. And then when you're ready, set that foot down, hands to the thighs, taking a moment to check in with the breath, check in with the mind if it's wandered off, bringing it back to the now moment and to our practice. From here, we're gonna do some side stretches. So go ahead and raise the left arm. Right arm can grip the chair or hang by the side. And we're gonna reach 
hand, breathe. And then let that left hand go. Right hand raises, right arm raises. Reach. And let it go. So starting to bring the breath into this practice, into a flow. So moving at your own pace, inhaling as the arm goes up, exhaling as the arm goes down. Gaining that awareness of the breath here. Everybody might be doing something slightly different based on their breath pattern. Now we're going to add a little twist to it. So we're going to bring the arm up. And if you'd like to open the heart a little here and then bring it down. So only that's just an optional add on if you want to. If that feels like a good choice, adding that upper body twist, heart shining towards the ceiling as the gaze also looks up. Maybe you'll feel some engagement of the abdominal muscles here as you twist. And checking in with that breath, inhaling as the arm goes up and exhaling as the arm goes down, moving at your own pace, just warming up here. We'll do one more time each side. And then hands come to the thighs, again, just Checking in, noticing any sensations in the body, any warmth that's been created, any attention to the breath, bringing us back to the present moment and to our practice. And then we'll go ahead and start rolling the shoulders back. And after you've found some movement there, maybe try one shoulder and then the other. Feeling those shoulder blades coming down the back. And then let's go forward. So go ahead, both forward. Simultaneously, and then try one at a time. Good, and now let's rest the shoulders and we're gonna bring them up and down. So squeeze them up and let them go. Up and let them go. One more time, up, hold and let it go. Then try one and the other. Do that a few times, noticing anything there. If one side feels differently, Checking in with that breath. And then kind of shake it off. Good. All right. So now we're going to take hands to the shoulders and do a fancy. Sorry about that. He wants to get in on the action. All right. So we're taking hands to the shoulders and we're gonna to touch the elbows and then touch the wrists. So we're coming around in circles, wrists to elbows. It's um, the destination, the journey is more important than the destination. So if the wrists aren't touching or the elbows aren't touching, that's okay. We're just trying to move somewhere along that trajectory. And anywhere along that path is fine. We'll do one more this direction and then we're gonna switch direction. So we're doing, we've been doing wrist to elbows. Let's do elbows to wrist. Going backwards the other way, elbows to wrist. Again, anywhere along that trajectory is great. Just moving towards that touch of the elbows and the wrists. And let's do two more here. 
And last one. All right, and hands can come down. Check in with the breath. All right, and now we're gonna do some neck um, stretches. So let's bring the right ear down towards the right shoulder. Hopefully we feel some kind of lengthening all along um, the left side of the neck all the way down into the left shoulder. If you'd like to extend the left arm, you can do so and make small circles here. And then reversing that rotation, going the other way. If you're feeling any tension here, be very gentle. Well, everyone be gentle regardless, but don't want to create any more tension if, if something's hurting there. So left hand can come in here. If you'd like, you can stay here or right hand can place very gently on the top of the head, on the side of the head near the ear. And just allow it to rest there, not pulling, just resting. Noticing any sensations there, taking some deep breaths, seeing if you can experience a deepening of the stretch along the left side of the neck. And then as you're ready, that right hand comes to the temple on the right side and gently presses the head back up. Hands come to the thighs and just take some deep breaths, noticing any sensations any differences between the left side and the right that you might be experiencing here. And then as you're ready, the left ear comes down towards the left shoulder, noticing any sensations there. If you'd like to extend the right arm, you could do that. If you did it on the other side, make some circles. If not, that right hand could stay on the thigh. And you can move that arm the other way, taking your rotations in the opposite direction. And then right hand comes back to the thigh. If you'd like to bring the left hand on top of the head, right near the right ear, you could do that, placing it gently and breathing, noticing maybe an increased feeling of stretch along the right side of the neck. And then as you're ready, that left hand comes to the left temple and pushes the head back to neutral. Nice work, everybody. And chin comes down towards chest and we check in with the breath here. Noticing any sensations. Keeping in line with working with the shoulders here, we're gonna start to uh, include the upper body and the shoulders. So this could be done, this next move could be done with just the upper body if your shoulders are bothering you. Um, you don't have to do the shoulder engagement piece. You could just lean forward with the upper body. So I'm going to show the shoulder engagement, um, but that's that's up to you whether you want to do it. Um, it can be intense for some people. So I'm going to turn to the side just so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to clasp my hands behind me and straighten my arms. And then I'm going to come down into a forward fold as my arms come up. But anywhere along this you know, trajectory is fine. If you just want to lean the upper body forward, that's also a good place for stretch and not even incorporate the arms into it. So just, those are some options there. And then we'll gently bring the upper body back up. 
and release the hands. From here, we're gonna do some arm circles. So getting big here, making our presence wide and broad. Opening up here, all in the arm sockets and the shoulder area. We'll do two more this direction. Good, and then we'll, if you're ready, go ahead and switch, go the other way, make those circles go the other way. And two more here. Nice, all right. So if you'd like to try that bind where the hands come behind the back, we're gonna try that again. Or if you just wanna bring your upper body down either way. Um, if you're trying to bind with the fingers interlaced, try interlacing them the opposite. Uh, so the, the other pinky is on the top than was last time and extending the arms behind you if you'd like, and then coming down, allowing those arms to fall wherever they may, allowing the neck to relax. And then gently coming back up, upper body comes up. We release the interlace of the, the hands if they were interlaced, and we come into that ball. So we're pretending that we have a big ball in front of us and kind of this, this idea of cat cow with the arms. So um, we're closing in with the cat and opening with the cow, moving between these two, exaggerating it as much as feels good here. So as shoulder blades coming to pinch or touch and then hands coming to touch with the belly button coming in towards spine, Moving with the breath here, so exhaling on the cat and nice inhale, expansive breath on the cow. So we'll do a few more here. Everybody might look different in this pose and that's perfectly natural and normal. Everybody might be going at a different pace. That makes sense. Following your breath. Everybody looks awesome. Two more here. And one more of each. Nice, all right. And hands come to the thighs and just take a moment to come back to the present moment if your mind has wandered off or if you just need a second to get a breather. Checking in with that breath and with any sensations that are happening in the body here. All right, from here, we're gonna do some incorporation of a side stretch and the movement that we just did shoulder opening. So let's lift the left arm and we're gonna kind of curve over and reach the right hand for the left wrist and do a side stretch. And if you'd like to add that heart opening twist here, you could do that too. We're engaging the abdominals and the obliques on the left side, and then we're gonna let everything go. And we'll do it on the other side too. So the right arm raises, we lean a little bit to the left, left arm comes up to reach it, left hand encircles right wrist, gentle pull, possibly a twist, heart opening, engagement in the right obliques and abdominal muscles and release. So let's try that again. Left arm reaches, right hand comes up to meet the wrist. You lean and twist if you want to and release. One more time, right arm reaches. We lean, left hand comes up to meet the wrist. Do a slight pull and a mini twist and release. Good. 
shake anything off, any tension. Check in with that breath. And then we're gonna do some twists, some seated twists. Um, so you could bring your, you could incorporate the legs in the twist or not, totally up to you. I'm gonna show the incorporation of the legs. You could leave them as, as they are um, wherever they're at right now, or you could start to bring one leg to cross over the other. So I'm gonna start with my left leg crossing over my right. If you wanna bring that um, leg twist, that leg uh, engagement into it too. Um, I'm gonna bring my right hand on top of my left thigh. My left hand is gonna come behind me. If you have a chair with the back, you could grab the back or you could place it at the base of your spine here. And then we're gonna do a twist looking to the left. And then let's counter twist the other direction. And then coming back to center, you uncross the legs and just take a moment to check in with the breath here, make any adjustments, noticing any differences or any sensations in the body. And from here, right leg, if you wouldn't want to, and come over the left. Left hand is on my right thigh. Right hand comes behind me and behind you and twist. And then try the other way, switching the arms as you go. Nice job, everybody. Coming back to neutral spine. If your legs were crossed, uncross them and, and take them a little wide here. So for this, we're gonna be coming down and trying a twist where our hand is either reaching towards the ground or completely on the ground. This is a place where blocks come in handy or a book to bring you a little bit of extra support. So if you want that support, if you need it, definitely feel free to take it. If not, if you don't wanna go all the way down to the floor, you're actually gonna get a good, nice abdominal engagement piece on this if you don't go all the way down to the floor. So whatever way you're doing it, it's gonna be good. Um, make the movement work for you. Um, so we are gonna start, let's start with the left hand down. So we're coming down with the upper body, placing the left hand wherever it falls, either on some blocks or on the floor or is suspended. Um, and the right arm is gonna reach up and the upper body opens to the right and take some breaths here. And then let's switch. Right hand comes down. And then kind of just in a flow, coming to those movements at your own pace, opening from side to side. If you need more here, you could try to reach the ankle on the opposite foot. So as you reach the left hand up, the right hand would reach to the ankle. As you reach the right hand up, the left hand would reach to the ankle if you need that extra. All right, let's do one more on each side. And then if your body is, if your upper body is still down, Let's go ahead and take a slow rag doll roll up. So one vertebrae at a time. I'm really feeling the stack of the vertebrae as I inch my way up to a spine that is stacked and in alignment. I'm slowly coming to that with the head being the last to come up. Let's go ahead and try that again. So we're gonna slow roll down nice and taking our time. Hands come to the ground or to walk, let the neck go, and then slowly stack the vertebrae, coming into alignment one step at a time, one little stack. 
and the head is the last to come up. All right, and then shake that off, let it go, whatever happened. Check in with the breath here. Taking a moment to come back to the present moment. And back to the body, noticing any sensations. All right, so if your knees are kind of wide here, we're gonna bring them back in, feet coming back in. We're gonna do some figure four stretches here. This is also another good one to do on your back. Um, if this <clears throat> figure four isn't working for you, you can um, do, there's some variations that, that I can show you. Um, so if you're not gonna, if the figure four isn't working for you, then I would say maybe take some toe touches here. So you could be doing that if figure four isn't working for you. Um, so for if you want to do figure four, well, let's start with the left ankle on top of the right thigh. So that's that figure four stretch um, where we're getting into the left hip and the left hip flexor. Um, and so this may be really good enough for some of us. We may just want to chill right here, breathe into this opening. For those that need more, you're gonna wanna flex that left foot and start to lean forward and increase that engagement, breathing into that left hip opening here. Or if you're doing the toe touches, you're getting some engagement on the back of the legs for the toe touches. So wherever you're at, if you were leaning forward or not coming back to neutral spine, if it's a good choice for your body and you're able, let's pick up that left knee off the right leg and do some hip opening circles here. So taking the leg around wide. And being gentle here, let's go the other way, try the other way, see how that feels. One more time around and then interlace the hands if it's a good choice for your body behind the left thigh and try extending that leg. Bringing that abdominal engagement, so belly button in towards spine. If, you were, if you're ready to do a toe touch with an extended leg, you could try reaching for the toes or you could keep the hand supporting the leg either way. And then everybody's going to bring the left leg down. It's going to stay in that straight pose. I mean, that, uh, you know, it's going to be lengthened, not bent here. And we're going to bring the right hand down to try to touch the toes with the left coming out behind us. But all engagement down the left, the back of the left leg here. And then when you're done, slowly coming back up, left knee can bend. Checking in with that breath, and then we'll do the other side. Noticing any sensations. I can definitely feel my left side feeling like it's been stretched more than my right here. So now we're moving on to the right side. So right ankle coming on to the left thigh, or you can do the toe touch here, the low toe touch. Um, so for many of us, this is right where we need to be. If you need more, you're gonna keep that right foot flexed and engaged and then start to lean the upper body forward. And you, you might feel in a greater intensity here in the hip opening, in the hip there, breathing into that hip. If you are, your body's, your upper body's coming forward and you need to back off at any time, feel free to do so. If you can maintain that intensity, then be breathing deeply. Remembering that right foot is flexed here. Just another breath or two. And then if the upper body was forward, sitting back up. 
If you'd like to try those hip openers on the other side, you can reach for that right below that right knee and do those circles. Your right hand and left could also be interlaced under the thigh, the right thigh. That's also a good place. So your movement doesn't have to look exactly like mine. It could be less exaggerated or more, depending on where you're at. Everybody's different. So we'll do one more that direction and then go ahead and switch it up, bringing it to rotate in the other direction. And let's do two more here. All right, and then we can hug that knee in. If you'd like to extend the right leg, if that feels like a good choice, you can come to interlace the hands under the right thigh, extend the right leg. If you really wanna go for the extra, try to touch those right toes. Then we're gonna bring that leg down. It's gonna remain in that extended position. Left hand is gonna reach for the right toes with the right arm coming behind us. And feeling that engagement all along the back of the leg. And then come up. We can go ahead and bend that right knee to meet the left and checking in with the breath here. Noticing any sensations in the body. All right. And from here, we're gonna come into, now we've gotten real warmed up. We're gonna come into some of the warrior poses here. Um, and we're gonna try to, do a chair pose in between. So a lot of times we do goddess and that's still a, a really good option. But if you'd like to, I'm also gonna show a chair pose in between if you'd like to do that um, to come off the chair a little bit. So let's start with goddess. Just a reminder, this is goddess. So our knees are wide, our hands are kind of goal posted. And now, then, so as we come, um, like as we move from one side of the warrior to the other side. And if you would like to do a chair pose, you'll come up off your chair a little bit and extend the arms. So that's just kind of, you know, allowing you to get an even more strength pose and engagement there. So go ahead and sit back down. If you are up, we're gonna turn first to the left. We're going to have our left knee bent and our right leg extending out um, behind us in a low lunge, and we're in warrior one here. So everybody looks awesome, good job. From warrior one, let's transition to warrior two. So arms are reaching out both directions. Nice work, everybody. And then from here, we're coming to reverse warrior. So right hand touches the back of the right leg, and the left arm extends the chest, opens and we start to lean back a little bit. From here, let's come back through warrior two. Great job. And from here, we're going to warrior one. So the right arm sweeps to beat the left and the chest faces forward over the bent left knee. And we should still be able to see our toes here. Then we're gonna come through to center. So transitioning there into goddess, right? Everybody can come to goddess. And then if you want that extra from here, you can pick yourself up and come to chair. And we have our wide knees. So we have a firm, solid base here. Awesome. Checking in with that breath. And as you're ready, sit it back down. Sorry, I've got a train going by here. All right, from here we're switching. So we're gonna switch our, to warrior one on the other side. So now we're starting to face the right knee, left leg extends behind us, biceps are by the ears, making sure you can see your right toes. The knee should not go forward over the toes. So we're in warrior one, transitioning to warrior two, left hand extends behind us, right arm in front. And in reverse warrior, left hand touches the back, left thigh, right arm extends by the ears. Nice job, everybody looks amazing. 
for uh, reverse warrior, we come back to warrior two, arms extended, both directions, and then left arm sweeps. And we're back at warrior one with left arm and right by the ears. Let's do that one more time. So from warrior one to warrior two, left arm comes down, right arm reaches out front, left arm comes to reach behind. Reverse warrior, left hand comes to the back thigh, right arm extends. Maybe we find a little back bend here. Back to warrior two, right arm extends in front, left arm reaches behind. And then warrior one, left arm sweeps, both arms, biceps by the ears. And we're gonna come to center here. So transitioning here, knees are wide. We're coming through goddess, goal post arms, wide knees. And if you'd like to take that extra chair, here's the chance. Sitting low, knees are wide. We should have a steady feeling base here. If not, sit down and arms are extended. Nice, and then sit it down, bring it all down. All right, and check in with that breath. Bring the knees more narrow to their natural, wherever they fall naturally. And let's just do some windshield wipers with the knees here, kind of shaking off that intensity. Checking in with the breath. Maybe you've built some heat and some strength. Noticing any sensations in the body. Appreciating where you're at with this practice. We're gonna do some eagle from here. So we got really big and expansive. We're gonna bring it in. Um, so there's a, several different stops along the road that you can take here. Make sure you're making the choices that are, work for you. So if you wanna bring your legs into eagle legs, they're gonna cross. If not, the legs do not have to cross here to do eagle. So if you want to, you can bring your left leg to cross over the right. Um, and then we're gonna extend the arms. And the left arm is gonna come under the right wrapping around. If the palms touching is too intense, you can always just touch the shoulders. But if palms can touch, that's great. And from here, if you'd like to create um, the shoulder, a sensation of the shoulder blades coming down the back, you can lift the hands so that we have even more expansiveness in the shoulder. If you'd like more intensity here and you want to really get um, constricted and feel like that sensation, you can start to bend forward, bringing everything in as tight and as tiny, small as possible. Taking some breaths here. Maybe one more breath and then letting everything go. So unwrapping the arms, unwrapping the legs and shaking it off, making any movements here. All right, and we're going to do the other side. If you do incorporate the legs, that's an option. If you don't want to incorporate the legs, you don't need to. So right thigh is coming on top of left, right leg on top of the left one. If you'd like, it arms going to extend and reach wide. And then right arm coming under the left, wrapping around. Again, those shoulders are an option. If it feels too intense, one side might feel different than the other. But if palms touch, that's also a good place. And then if you'd like to raise up the arms here a little, it's gonna create a kind of a different sensation on the back, only if that's a good choice for your body. And then if you want more here, bringing it down and really getting into that squeeze sensation here, but remembering to breathe. Few more breaths here.
and then unwinding, letting it all go, unwrapping and getting big and comfy, making any natural movements here, shaking off any of that. All right, and then we're gonna do some um, side to side. We're gonna kind of do that shaking off in an even bigger way. We're gonna start to just have those arms swinging and twisting. This could be exaggerated or this could be a smaller movement depending on your space and how it feels for you. Making sure you're checking in with that breath. Moving in a way that makes sense for you. And from these side twists, we're gonna come, I mean, from these, well, they are kind of side twists. These arms going out to the sides, we're gonna come into some, um, what we think of as side twists. So coming into that flow, left arm reaches and lean, we lean to the right, let it go. Right arm reaches and we lean. Following the breath here, touching on some of the movements we've already done. One breath, one movement. All right, and then we're gonna come to the circle we did before. So big circle. And then arms extend and open. Circle here, belly button in towards spine and arms open. Moving at whatever pace works for you. Breath, one breath, one movement. And let's do one more. And open, nice job. So hands come to the thighs. Checking in with that breath. Let's bring hands to interlace in front of us, making that circle. And then it turn the hands to the palm space. Everybody. All right. And from here, if you'd like, arms can come up to the side and around and up. So incorporating everything we just did, but with fingers interlaced. That abdominal engagement can really help us here. We'll do one more this direction and then we'll switch directions as you're ready, switching directions. So going up the other way and around. Shoulders should be feeling like they're getting some engagement here and the side body too. Checking in with that breath. Let's do one more. Good. And then hands release, coming back to the thighs. And then we're gonna be closing the class here. So coming into some quieter mind, quieter movement. We're gonna think about the things that we got from the class today and from the practice, from being together that we wanna keep and also letting go of anything that we don't want to retain. Taking some breaths here. I apologize for the sound in the background. All right, so we're gonna be taking some deep inhales and exhales here. So we're gonna bring the arms up as we inhale through the nose and exhale lion's breath through the mouth. <sighs> inhale, arms up, gather it in. Exhaling anything you don't want, <sighs> letting go. Inhale, arms up, 
through the nose and exhale audibly through the mouth, lion's breath. Inhale, gather it up, feel it in, and exhale, letting go. Three times. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. This is our last time. Inhale through the nose and hands come to touch. We bring hands to heart center and we say namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. It was my honor and my pleasure. I'm gonna come up and, and unmute everybody. Um, or you can unmute yourselves too. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording.